Let's see here. Merriam-Webster's Online Dictionary, Butterfly. Definition one, any of numerous slender body diurnal epid... Okay, I'm going to skip that part. It's an insect. Including one superfamily, Papilionoidae, with broad, often bright color wings, and usually another superfamily comprising the skippers. A complicated definition to be sure, but the definition of butterfly. Hello, everyone. I am Random Adam, and today I'm going to talk about butterflies. <music> This is a good time to introduce you to the shelves of insanity. As you can see behind me, I have nine different shelves that have complete randomness scattered throughout. On one of those shelves, I have a butterfly. So let's check it out. The butterfly, a magnificent creature. This is called a Morpho Helenor. It's a type of Morpho butterfly. When you think of animals that pollinate plants, what do you think of? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Jeopardy is not free domain, so here's my voice instead. Do 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 do. Okay, that's long enough. What I think of are bees. Unfortunately, bees are going extinct. That's correct. They're being wiped off the face of the planet. This is due to a number of factors, including climate change. But the main problem is that bees do pollinate the vast majority of plants. However, they are not the only pollinators. In fact, there are many other different types of pollinators as well. But the one I want to talk about is, of course, the butterfly. To be fair, butterflies are not as effective as bees with pollination. In fact, it can be quite difficult for them to pollinate plants. They like to travel between many different colorful types of plants, red, yellow, green, whichever colors they prefer. But they have very long, skinny legs, and therefore they're not able to pick up a lot of pollen at one time. It is a lot more time-consuming for butterflies to pollinate plants, and therefore, again, not as effective as bees. There is one more topic I want to talk about that concerns butterflies of a different matter. There is this marvelous concept called the butterfly effect. You know, thinking about this just gives me butterflies in my stomach, or that could be that uh, pizza coming back up. But the butterfly effect is quite fascinating. The butterfly effect originates about 55, 60 years ago with an MIT scientist named Edward Lorenz. Lorenz did some research crunching numbers as a physicist or uh, some field that I'm unfamiliar with. And he realized that nature is quite interesting and that small things can have massive effects. Small changes can have massive consequences. Now, this could be something like a, a butterfly flapping its wings and causing a tornado around the planet. But, in science fiction, they've taken it in a different route, traveling back in time and making a change in history and seeing how that can affect the future. Uh-oh. I'm random Adam. Don't step on butterflies. I, I, I,